Hey, girl. I'm gonna say two of these are one of these, girl. This got six grams of sugar. Uh -oh. I get these from Amazon. I'm gonna put these down in my. I'm gonna put a link down there so y'all can get y'all stuff from Amazon. Now, wait a minute, girl. What is going on? I'm gonna get my. Let me get my life together. Come on, headband. Yes. <sighs> I started feeling a little bit funny a little bit earlier. And I think it's because my iron is obviously a problem. I can feel it. So I said, let me go ahead and take my iron and my vitamin C. So that way, I'm gonna be out here in these streets feeling crazy. I started feeling some type of way. I said, girl, what is going on? Let me take my iron pill. This is your reminder. If you haven't already, take the iron. Hey, girl, we in the car. You know what that means? It's time for a car check, girl. Welcome. Y'all ready for Christmas? Y'all got y'all stuff ready? You got your Christmas tree out? What color? What color is your Christmas tree? Is y'all putting up? What kind of Christmas tree y'all putting up this year? Did y'all hear that? That was the acorn one falling out the tree. So anyway, hey y'all, welcome to another video. If you are new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. I love you guys so, so much. There are so many of you that are just rocking with me. Y'all are rocking with me so heavy. I could tell. Some of y'all don't think I know, but girl, I know. Y'all are rocking with me the long way, girl. And I love you for that. I want to talk to y'all today. Because we haven't done a car chat in a while. And I haven't been live. Um, today is what, the fourth? Did you pay your mortgage or your rent, girl? It's the first of the month. Girl, it's the first of the month. <laughs> Listen, girl, I don't know who needs to hear this. <laughs> don't be paying all of your bills to the point to where you don't have nothing left after you pay your bills. And you have to borrow money or you have to be without. If you had to borrow money or you have to be without, I get it. That's stressful, and I understand that. But don't let it define you. It's just for right now. Everything happens in a season, right? Things are temporarily, temporary. Things change. I know that a lot of us, like me, now when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. I'm literally speaking to myself. I know a lot of us, Things literally change, right? And it makes us uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable when it comes to change. I don't like it. It makes me nervous. It makes me uncomfortable. Change is good, though. Because that means, let me tell you what the hope is in change the hope is that no matter how bad your situation is it won't stay the same it will change it will get better give it a minute you're not going to be in the same situation forever 
it seems like it but that's not true have you ever been in a situation so long even though that is contrary to who you really are you begin to believe that's who you are I don't care how long your situation has been the way it is do not allow it to consume you or make you feel like that's who you are that's not who you are you're gonna rise up out of it I know it may take a little bit of time and it's gonna take moving things around it's gonna think take making some hard changes like let's talk let's really talk so as you guys know I have been on my weight loss journey now I love you guys and I'm gonna be if this if you're watching this today I'm definitely gonna be looking at the comments and I'm gonna be responding to y'all but one thing that I have to learn is that my like a team queens typically watch my videos on the very first day that I drop it after that for some reason the comment section starts to go left and I just learned that that's because YouTube starts recommending it to people who are not subscribed to you. So, I'm gonna make sure whenever I drop a new video, if you're a part of the notification gang, drop your comment so I can make sure that I respond and then I see it, okay? So, I wanna just get real. I'm tired of like, I'm tired of feeling like I can't say the things that are really on my mind and on my heart. I want to talk about how I feel. And I want to talk about some fat shit. I want to talk about something that I'm dealing with, okay? Which is my weight. And I have been dealing with my weight for a very long time. And it's on my mind and it's what I want to talk about. So for the last, I would say that I really have been making a conscious effort since 2018. When I say conscious effort, I mean like not just ordering chicken salads from Chick-fil-A. Because y'all know that we'll do this thing where we'll be like, okay, I'm going on a diet. And that means going to McDonald's and getting double cheeseburgers without the bread. Girl, that's not a diet. <laughs> um, or getting sauce on the side so you don't use as much. Now, that is a place to start, right? But you still doing some fat shit, right? That's me. So when I say really been trying to lose weight, like like learning about my issue, number one, okay, the problem that I've been having with weight loss, I'm gonna talk to you guys about something. Now, let me, let me back up. What started this whole thing was that I got a message on my Facebook from someone who's been following me for a while. And it really made me emotional because they shared something with me that I've been experiencing. And they actually apologized to me for something that I wasn't holding them accountable for, right? But it definitely triggered me and it made me think. And I wanna share this with you guys. Um, I'm not giving no disclaimer this is my YouTube channel. It belongs to me and it's about my life. Weight gain, maintenance, and loss is a big, huge part of who I am for now. There's gonna come a day where I don't even have to talk about weight. It's irrelevant to me because I'm gonna be at, the, at my goal weight. But until then, this channel is going to be a representation of being a resource for every part of the woman. It's a, this channel is a reflection of me. It's who I am. So I can't just show up with a cute outfit on. I got to show up with every aspect of me. And this is a part of me. 
I found, so let me go back. So a young lady reached out to me on Facebook and sent me a message. Mind you, I don't really get a chance to go through my Facebook messages that often because I get about two to 300 Facebook messages a day. So nine times out of 10, I won't see them. I don't see them. And I have the hardest time actually getting into my Facebook messenger because I don't have the app downloaded on my phone. I don't know why you can't just look at your Facebook messages without having an additional app because don't nobody got no space for that. Especially if you're an influencer, y'all know you run out of space quicker than anything. So I don't got no space for no extra apps, okay? So anyway, I got a, a, a Facebook message and this young lady sent me this message and she sent me this video and basically just to sum it up, sum it up, she was apologizing to me because she had complimented me on my weight loss. And she said that a friend of hers and her had a similar... Now, I'm doing this from memory, so I might mess it up, okay? Uh, so, don't give me too much, girl. Don't give me too much. But a friend of hers and her have a similar health issue, right? And her friend had lost some weight. And she was excited because she thought that the reason that her friend lost the weight was because she had found a cure or not a cure but like she had found tr a treatment plan let's say that she had found a treatment plan for something that they both was dealing with so she complimented her or commented her uh, to her about the weight loss because she was trying to say hey girl i'm dealing with a similar issue so like let's say for example someone has pcos right and anybody who knows about PCOS they know that the basis of PCOS is insulin resistance and no matter it does not so let's just say this no matter what disease you have it does not always present itself the same way in everybody so your mama auntie cousin sister brother daddy dog could have PCOS and have a full beard my friend could have PCOS and have skin smooth as a baby's ass, but still got cysts on the ovaries. And it still shows up in a blood and a hormone test. So please y'all be mindful of that. That different types of illnesses show up differently for different people. They, they have different symptoms. So basically, if you see somebody that you're with, right, and you're close to them, and you're like, girl, what are you doing? Like, you're losing the weight. You know, my PCOS causes me to have a lot of weight loss, like a lot of weight gain. Not every fat person has PCOS. But sometimes when you have PCOS, you have a much harder time losing weight than someone else and it will try, cause you to be morbidly obese you didn't eat your weight into pcos pcos caused your cravings and your eating which caused your body to be the way it is so if i see someone that i know that has pcos and i'm like oh my god i know bertha got pcos but look at her she done lost 100 pounds bertha you look good, girl. What's going on? Tell me what you're doing. Because I selfishly want to lose weight, right? Not saying that my queen that sent me this message was selfish, but I'm talking about me because I've done this, right? And then guess what happened? She did that to her friend, basically. And she said, hey, you know, hey, girl, you look so good. I want to lose weight. What are you doing? Like, what's, did you find a cure? come to find out her friend was sick and that's how she lost the weight which was triggering well she didn't know but in the beginning of my weight loss journey this time around i lost 30 pounds after the retreat because i was sick and i was struggling and I didn't want to tell anyone. I was very triggered. 
So when she apologized for that, it made me feel some type of way because I was like, first of all, I wasn't even holding her accountable for that. But little did she know that was my issue. I was sick and I have been sick with a stomach issue for a while. So when, but y'all know I'm a Jamaican and you know, we, we superstitious, we old school black people. When you're going through something, you don't like to tell nobody that you're going through something till you come to the other side of that thing, till you overcome it. Once you overcome it or you work through it, then you can talk about it. Cause you, you know, y'all know how we do. So, had worked through it and was still dealing with it and literally was babysitting my stomach so I was doing those videos I don't know if you guys remember but I would do those videos I'm gonna try not to cry I would do those videos where I was saying like oh what I eat in a day and there would be times where I would not even be able to eat that much like I would fix the food for Chris, right? Because of course he don't have no stomach problems so he can eat. And then I would try to eat and get sick. So I wouldn't even finish what I was saying that I was eating. And I was eating it, you know, that's what I was eating. But I literally would be going hours and hours and hours without eating. And so right now to this day, I'm still pacifying my stomach I just didn't want to hear a bunch of bullshit from the world so I just didn't tell anybody about it those who are real close to me they know because they've seen me take my medicine and you know they're like joy what can you eat what can you not eat like what can you eat because they know but I had someone come and say why are you being disingenuous? I think it's so disingenuous for you to say that that's all you ate was a salad when actually on that very day, I didn't finish the salad. I ate some of the salad, wrapped the salad up in aluminum foil and put the salad back in the refrigerator because I could not, I was getting nauseous and every time I went to eat, I felt like it was gonna come back up. So what I did was I had to just eat my I had to do drink my shakes like I had to do my shakes so that way I can make sure that I was still getting my vitamins and stuff so I didn't feel lightheaded and feel sick um and get my protein in and stuff like that it's another reason why I was having issues with my hair falling out so and I've been dealing with that probably for the last year or so um with my eating and then also I have teeth issues so a lot of things especially if it's fibrous or hard i'm just not able to eat it but yeah i'm still my size so it just when she apologized it really helped me and it made me it kind of triggered me to thinking even though like i said she did not owe me an apology she has done absolutely nothing wrong to me but when she said it, it's just like, I felt like, damn, that lets me know that she really cares. Y'all know it's always somebody who don't owe you an apology be the main one apologizing because they're good people. You know what I'm saying? But it may, it helped. the reason why she did that or the reason why I responded the way that she did to that was because it helped me to think, you know what? I can't be controlled by what people say or what they don't say at the end of the day my journey is my journey i'm gonna share my journey i'm gonna be transparent about my journey and i'm just gonna have to limit the intake that i have on my journey i the, the opinions i'm just gonna have to keep it to a minimum so i'm gonna be there but i'm not gonna be listening right because i just can't so, I had gotten off track 
since the fast forward we had the um hurricane i got off track during the hurricane and girl i have not been able to get back on track until the last week just this last week i said okay joy enough is enough so i have been buying diet ice cream light ice cream keto ice cream and eating half a container I have been um, eating Doritos. Y'all know I cannot eat no Doritos because I have no self-control with um, ranch Doritos, red Doritos. Girl, when I say I love me a Dorito, if I had to choose between ice cream and Doritos, Doritos gonna win every time. Every time you give me the Doritos and I'm gonna eat it. The whole bag, okay? Chips and dip for me, like queso and dip or queso and chips. I'm a savory person, so girl, starch, macaroni and cheese, bread with Alfredo sauce. Now, chocolate, y'all can have it. Candy, y'all can have it. Bread, that's been my issue. So, this last couple weeks, um, I've gotten back on track. Now, y'all know. So, 2019, 2020, 2021, 22. Four years, I've been battling with weight loss. Backwards and forward. I've been battling. Losing a big pound of weight, and then something will happen. You know, I lost 80 pounds, then my mom died. Then I gained weight, then I got back on track. I lost 136 pounds. COVID hit. I lost 136 pounds. The Roro came and we couldn't go outside no more. Right? This time, I lost more weight than the hurricane came. I may not learn the same way everybody else learns, and you may not learn the same way everybody else learns, but your lesson is your lesson. Our lesson is our lesson. It's teaching me this. Just because it's taking me longer than others to reach my goal doesn't mean that that's become who I am. I love me and I love myself. I'm happy about who I am and I'm happy about myself. I know what my, my shortcomings are more than anyone else. And I also know the truth, but I know my future my way is not my future i don't care if i've been on youtube for 10 years and i'm still fat my weight is not my future and i am going to get to the weight that makes me happy i'm manifesting that and i say all that to say just because you're in a, a circumstance and a situation that seems permanent everybody and their mama have an opinion on who you are what you are and where you're going people even think that they know what you're doing because they feel like the evidence is showing their narrative their bias their preconceived notion but the truth of the matter is you know where you're going and you have to be focused on where you're going, where you are, your strategy and your vision to get there. I've been doing some work on my vision because somewhere along the way, it got blurry. My vision got a little bit blurry, girl. Somewhere along the way, where, I don't know. But my vision got a little bit blurry. Today is Friday, and tonight, I think at about 7, 7-ish, seven the girls and I are going to really do some work on focusing on our vision and reclaiming our vision, you know, walking into our vision and exactly how to do that. Now, typically, my vision workshop is free. You know, it's included in your Patreon membership. 
if you have not joined patreon and you feel like you have been focusing on the wrong thing and you looking for a tribe to kind of help support you because sometimes i feel like we be in situations where we're isolated we don't have the support that we need we don't have those that are there for us in the way that we need them to be right and it seems like our focus can only be on what's right here which nine times out of ten your problem is always right here your solution is further off so you've got to be not focused on your problem because see well look, this is what happens your problem is right here so your problem obscures your solution because your solution is over there problem is over here so if you can't see past your problem to your solution and focus on there that's what stops you from getting to where you go and a big way to help with that is having a tribe and for me i feel like this year 2022 has been my year of relationships and networking and having a tribe and knowing that i'm not alone has it been the most difficult year <laughs> it's been one of the most difficult years in that not everybody is your friend not everybody truly supports you not everybody is exactly who they say they are some people present themselves as one way and that's not really who they are but i'm not going to focus on those people i'm not worried about them what i'm worried about is manifesting and attracting the people in my life who are for me because for every person that tries to be against you there's someone who is for you and has your back i'm back on track y'all with my weight loss i'm back on track finally again and i'll be honest i'm frustrated you know i'm frustrated with myself but i didn't weigh in this time um i was listening to a podcast and the girl was like if you know that you haven't been eating right and exercising and doing what you're supposed to be doing why in the world would you be looking at um why would you be getting on the scale just so it can confirm 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 just so it can confirm what you already know you don't need to get on the scale to confirm what you already know girl you know let that go just you know what you need to do get back on track once you're back on track and you get back into your then you can be concentrated on the scale so i'm not worried about the scale i'm not concentrating on that i'm getting my habits back in order um taking my protein you know protein and fiber at every meal protein and fiber protein and fiber at every meal even with my snacks and desserts um intermittent fasting you know and low carb you know low carb high protein lots of fiber some fat good fat salmon avocado nuts which are hard to eat because like i said my teeth ain't right yet but i'm getting back on track and no matter what it seems like to others i'm gonna focus on my solution i'm not gonna focus on the problem the problem is that i'm fat other people who are not focused minded people that's all they're gonna see is my fat and some of the same people who will sit and tell you ignore it ignore it ignore it are the same people who are talking about you and putting you down Th let me just say this to y'all the least y'all could do is if y'all are gonna comment bad about me or talk bad about me i see you you might want to change the account that you do it in if you are commenting on my account over here with the same picture same name and then you go into other accounts making comments about me girl i see you i see you people send me shots like hey joy i seen this person on your live but i see them over here what's going on girl i don't know don't i don't care and don't know because you know why i'm not gonna focus on none of that stuff anymore now am i gonna every now and then throw a little shade i am but for the most part i'm not going to focus on it to the point of that it makes me lose focus of what i'm really trying to do um i'm super excited if you have not already make sure that you join 
my patreon i will link it down below um join the patreon today it's only 14 dollars a month everything that we do together is free it's included you get way more bang than your buck if you think that that's too much money do not even go over there and look girl um no one who's currently in patreon has an issue because they know that I'm del I'm over delivering value, right? Um, I actually got a message from someone yesterday and they were like, Joy, you should probably charge us. I was like, no girl, it's included. Cause it's not about the making of the money. It's about delivering the value. But if, you, if I'm bringing you value that you don't find valuable, then I'm not doing my job. I only want to deliver value to those who find what I'm giving them to be valuable. And the only way that you'll find what I'm giving valuable is if there's an equal exchange. If there's no equal exchange, girl, let me let, let me just give you an example. What do you do with free pins? When someone gives you a free pin, what do you do with it? You lose it because you didn't pay for it. It's not yours. You didn't invest in it. You might use it today, you might find it tomorrow, you might know where it is, but there's not a lot of value in free. Nine times out of 10, you don't pay attention. But when you're invested in something, you find that valuable because there's an equal exchange. So join the Patreon, it's, pay, it's uh, patreon.com forward slash joyamore. Tonight we're gonna be focusing on our vision. Um, the girls had an assignment. I gave them a free journal prompt. Like, I actually gave them a whole handout. Um, that handout that I gave them, that PDF, I think it's like maybe 25 pages. I, I can't remember, but I had I made a ebook that's free, a free ebook on uh, we we've gone through vision, we've gone through focus. We've gone through uh, doing our vision board together. Um, I mean, girl, we've gone through so much together, it's not even funny. And so many of the girls have come so far and they have so many amazing dreams and goals and plans. And when you're in an environment where everyone around you is working toward a goal, it just makes you all the more apt to want to work towards your goals. You know, it's the same way. Like when you see people shopping, you're like, oh, I want to shop. Well, when you see people striving and supporting you and not being judgmental and not treating you some type of way, like <sighs> my goal is to walk a mile in 15 minutes. Right now, it takes me almost, I'm just going to tell you, right now, it takes me about 30 minutes to walk a mile. Um at two miles an hour i do a 30 minute mile right now i want to walk a mile in 15 minutes i want to do four miles an hour to someone else they may look at that and laugh right um i've had this goal before and i've had people laugh at that goal but me that's where i'm at and anybody that's around me or in my circle when i talk about my goals and where i'm at are fully supportive of me and where I'm at you need to be in an environment that is 100% supportive of who you are you've got to find your tribe you've got to stop trying to put like elevate people see we do this thing where we get people in our life and then we try to elevate them or put them in a place that we need them to be or teach them how to treat us a certain kind of way and then when they don't or they don't meet our expectations we give up on ourselves and we change. No, you got to find people who are elevated, who can pull you up, who are already going or on their way to where you're trying to go. You got to find your tribe. I think the time is gone where, oh, I say to myself, it's just me. I'm on my own. You know, I'm just, it's just me. I'm on my own. I don't need nobody. No, you do, sis. You need somebody. You need somebody, sis. You're going to have to network. In order for you to go to the next level where you're trying to go, because, see, you're done with saying, 
the same place. You've been in the same place long enough and you're ready to go to the next level. You don't necessarily know the steps that it's going to take to take you to the next level, but you feel that you're tired. That's a sign that it's time for you to go to the next level. I know that you probably think, you know what? Why do I have this dream? Why do I have this aspiration if it's so hard for me to achieve? Because it's not about the destination. It's about the journey of getting your ass where you're trying to go. And if you ain't got no gas in the car, girl, how you supposed to get there? Ain't nobody walking. Girl, that's a whole nother video. I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching. Join my Patreon. If you haven't been in Patreon for a while and you didn't quite understand what was going on, just so I can let you know some of the benefits of being a part of the Patreon. Patreon gets priority notification of all of my content. YouTube, YouTube doesn't always notify you of my content that's outside of YouTube. So if you're in Patreon and you're getting videos of my same videos from outside of Patreon, it's because as a VIP exclusive goddess patreon member you get priority notification you also are a part of our what's chat whatsapp chat instead of discord we have a whatsapp chat where um there's several of us that talk and grow um you're also able to get behind the scenes content um i post in i post in patreon three times a week i also have one weekly live virtual event in patreon that's absolutely free and included in the membership uh, we do birthdays we do giveaways we do um live events three to four live events per year and all of that is included in your patreon membership and it's patreon only like tonight we have our vision board uh well vision reset um this will be our last session talking about visions write the vision make it plain this will be our last session talking about vision we're actually i think gonna go next to planning let me see hold on i don't remember let me tell you what we're talking about next I can find the um Patreon information. Planning, yep. Yeah, so vision, this will be our last session on creating a compelling vision. So tonight around seven, we're gonna meet. I'm gonna typically give out a Zoom link. That will either come in your email so you need to check um your because that's what happens a lot of times people come into patreon they don't exactly understand what's going on and then they're like oh well these are the same posts from youtube no you're getting priority notifications you're getting inbox messages but my messages are going into your spam and you're not receiving them so if you want to make sure that you are if you are in patreon at patreon as a part of your favorites so that way you're getting all of my emails and my communications and then that way you know how to navigate the patreon content um there also is a podcast that's going to be coming exclusively to patreon very soon so the value is above and beyond your membership um you also get two months free if you pay the yearly um, so that's a huge discount and a savings. Like I said, join Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Joya Moore. If you're already in Patreon, check your email so that way you can get, be receiving communications from me and make sure that you go into your browser and check Patreon so that way you'll see when I post the Zoom link. Also, if you want the ebook, okay, that is free. To Patreon members, the ebook is free on basically manifesting your vision, how to do your, you know, how to do your vision, how to manifest your goals. It's a free ebook. It's included as a part of your Patreon membership only. Um, all you have to do is join Patreon, and then you will look at the post, and it's 
um, I believe it's not the last post, but the post before last, there's a link and that ebook is right there. You can download, download it to your phone as a PDF and you can either print the journal prompt out or you can use notes in your iPad and just fill out that journal prompt right there. So I love you guys to the moon a bit. Don't ever lose your focus. Just because something seems like you've been dealing with it for a long time, that does not mean that that becomes who you are. You know who you are. Don't let anybody else define you. Don't let anybody else tell you who you are based on what they see. They're only gonna have a limited perspective and view of who you are. You have the best view of you. Bird's eye view. And you can see your future if you focus on your solution and you look past the immediate problem. Hopefully I'll see you tonight. Um, we're going to get started at 7 Eastern. And I love you to the moon a bit. And I will see if I can find a way to do a replay just in case you miss it. But I don't think I'm going to do a replay. Um, I think I'm going to try to make it live. So if you can make it in Patreon tonight at 7 p.m., join Patreon. It's free with your membership. So that's an ebook. That's a virtual meeting. <laughs> Pajama party. Ice cream social. Gifts. Priority not notification of all other content. Okay, it's a goddess level membership. VIP. It's exclusive. <laughs> WhatsApp chat. Girl, what more could you ask for? We're having a good time. So make sure you join Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash joy amore. I also have a video that I think that you may have missed. If you missed this video, watch this video next. Okay, because I think that it definitely is going to give you that encouragement that you need to keep your focus. And I will see you in the next video.